All right, so my name is Rene Ruiz, and I am a fashion designer in Cora Gables in Miami. Uh, I've been designing for the last 20 years in the city. And um, when I first started my business, I was going to be an architect. But uh, when I was going to school to be an architect, but then for some reason things changed in my mind, and I I was always had a passion for like building things and constructing things. And as you can see, my designs are very uh, architectural, and the way they're put together is very the construction is very important for me. And um, I changed majors and I became a fashion designer, and I've been very lucky that I've been able to do it in the city that I love, in, in, which is Miami. And um, another thing is that we are, uh, we do business in, 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 in France and Paris, and, and since I am a, a more of a high-end designer in Miami and I sell all over the country and Europe also, I um, I work with um, small family owned meals in in Lyon that are very creative and they're very easy to work with. You know, they allowed my business to grow and to be recognized in a different way. Also, we just did uh, the Vendôme luxury show in Paris at Le Vendôme and at the Hotel Le Marie's, and and it was a great experience because it helped us uh, make connections with different. Um, people in the industry so we can grow the business and have more of an affiliation with French companies that want to bring their business, their goods to, to the U.S. as well as we, you know, expanding our own in Europe and France, of course. One of the things that I've been finding, I've been going to the Premier Vision uh, fabric show in Paris, which is the biggest one in the world for the last 10 years. Uh, and I know that some other countries are trying to catch up with um, the way the French do their laces and they do their fabrics, but it's really quite a ways to go still. There's still there's a lot of countries that are like emerging countries and emergence economy, that's what we were talking about, that, that are trying to compete with the French way of making fabrics, you know, but still there's something really special about the creativity and the tradition of the, the French people about making fabrics. Like for example, and I don't know if this is getting too technical, like before most of the, the rest of the industry uh, in other countries were like getting silk fabrics and, and, and extra white fabrics, which makes it easier for the designer to create and to be more uh, innovative with, uh, with these fabrics. The French always been doing it and that's something that you cannot get with fabrics from other countries. And so one of the reasons that we continue to go to Paris and you know and to companies in France for our fabrics and for you know for I you know ideas and inspiration is more also because they always are ahead of the the rest of the world. Although they are emerging com uh, countries that are trying to like compete but always you know, you have to remember also that France has a long tradition of just beauty and, and, and just incredible uh, attention to everything that was beautiful, not just, not just in the last century, but over many, many centuries. So I still think that they have that edge of like being creative and seeing things in, in an artistic way and different and, and a more... Uh, avant-garde mm. vision of things, even if they like something as old as couture that's mm -hmm. been around forever, mm -hmm. but they still have that advantage. And it's still it's going to be a while before other countries will be able to to um, to reach to that point. So there's still room to grow, and there's always going to be uh, more. You know, the creativity is endless. And the history in France is just amazing. Okay. One of the reasons also is that uh, Miami is more, is even more than a melting pot. You know, especially today, the way we're growing as a, as a city. Uh, for example, I myself am of Cuban descent, but I consider myself a Miami designer. I'm a product of Miami because I became a professional in this city, something that I wouldn't have the chance to do in my country. Um, 
I became a professional in this city, and I became successful in this city. And I am a product of Miami. Uh, and when we go um, and show my clothes and my designs around the country and the world, a, lo a lot of people uh, identify my style with a Miami flair, not just with a Latin American flair or a, or a Cuban flair, you know, whatsoever. It's more of a Miami flair because I am a product of this city and all the cultures and all the people that come to Miami and it's made Miami what, what's becoming today. That is really, and it's going to become a really important city in the whole world.